Culturally, um, before you wear gloves, you have to know the meaning because, uh, like back in the days, or even maybe now, people wear to throw insult to each other. Yeah. <laughs> see? I Some, still have yet to see an example of this. Yeah. So, like, sometimes, you know, in a in a house or in a compound house which uh, how would you I would say the projects the yeah. projects are like compound houses yeah so in a compound house you have like the rooms facing each other and people walking seeing each other everyone walking through the same exit and coming in and cooking in the same area you can just wear a glove that is throwing insult to your neighbor and your neighbor would look at the cloud because they know the meaning, they know what you are talking about. Let's say an example would be you are wearing a glove, which is maybe you had a misunderstanding with your neighbor. And the following morning, she will wear a glove that is in house, which is say Akiaim, meaning beware of me. And she will wear the glove and sit opposite like your door maybe doing some activity. The moment you see the club, you know the meaning. It's like, yeah, maybe she's trying to tell you that. You said well, maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm saying maybe because we all know the meaning. And this right. is how it's being read. Right. So if you see a fabric, you try to read it. In some part of uh, Ghana, like the northern region, Tamale, when you wear a hat, depending on how you wear the hat, mm -hmm. it, it, it has a meaning. So when you wear the moment you wear it, people begin to read it. Uh -huh. So people will read it not knowing that you wear it intentional or unintentional. Mm -hmm. So they would also retaliate by wearing another one which would throw another thing to you, which uh -huh. would be another proverb. Uh -huh. You see? And an example of that could be you could wear something which is saying, uh, uh, never argue with a fool. <laughs> you see? So you're, you're you see? So you are calling in, everybody else fools. <laughs> no, meaning it's just, it's, it's a nickname of a fabric. So when you wear it, and when you have your neighbor wearing something that is saying, beware of me, uh, and you also wear a fabric which is, which has a nickname saying, never argue with a fool. Automatically, you are calling that neighbor a fool. Right. And you are not going to argue with them because they are a fool. And because they know the meaning, they can also retaliate with another. Like How would you re retaliate to that one? Um, never argue with a fool. You can re <laughs> I'm not going to give ideas. <laughs> but I can say, you can um, say one conversation with a wise man is better than a hundred years of conversation with a fool. So you're just calling them. So you are also calling them a fool, <laughs> and then you are telling them that having one conversation with you or having one conversation with a wise man, it means instead of being in an argument with you or in a conversation with you, I would just go and spend it with a wise man who is uh, not you. <laughs> <laughs> not you. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm trying because this reminds me of like being a kid in Harlem and in Avon, people just going back and forth with like insulting each other, but like not good thought. And I kind of want to like have a series of yeah. patterns that are like that have the games like that. Yeah. Um, what would be called your mother? <laughs> 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 uh -huh. Yeah. <laughs>